Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to talk about protecting your work as a writer. Hey guys, okay, so I wanted to apologize for disappearing. I had to go home for a little bit and handle some family stuff, but now I am back and I am here with a new video. So over this quarantine, I have been doing a lot of private work with clients, helping them to develop scripts, as well as me working on my own personal projects. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about protecting your work because that's a concern that always comes up when I'm working with somebody new. So the first thing to know is that you can't necessarily protect your idea. You can protect a script, a screenplay, a treatment, or an outline, but not necessarily just your idea. That being said, there are a few things that you can do to mitigate you know, your concern over whether or not somebody might take your idea or not. So the first thing that you can do in the initial stages is talk to people who you trust. This can be family members, it can be close friends, just people who aren't necessarily in the writing industry. Especially if you just need to flesh out your idea and just get a little bit of feedback, it might help to just start with them before you actually start pitching your idea or talking to people who are in the big leagues or who are interested in actually selling or producing your script. Now when you start meeting with people, let's say your producers or someone who's around the film and TV industry, document it as much as possible. So, you know, send an email out to them, to whoever you're meeting with and just say, hey, I'd like to meet up with you at XYZ time and I wanna talk about this idea that I have for a script. Now, again, that doesn't necessarily mean somebody can't take your idea, but at least there's some type of written documentation that says, we're meeting up at this time to talk about this idea. So it's just another way of basically protecting yourself. So then when you meet up with them to actually talk about the idea, just give them kind of the bare bones. Don't talk about the whole full-fledged idea with them. That's not necessary. Just meet up with them and basically give them little nuggets to see if it's something that they're interested in selling or interested in working with you on. So basically go in there with the idea of, let's say you're trying to sell the Titanic movie, don't talk about everything that happened in Titanic. Just talk about how the boat is gonna sink and the characters involved in the boat sinking and that's it. And see if they wanna work with you. You know, giving your whole idea at one time is not really beneficial to you. And not saying that somebody is gonna steal your idea, but it's just something to be conscious of when you're actually talking to people who are knowledgeable about the industry. But so that being said, you cannot walk around in fear that somebody is going to steal your idea. Okay, think about how many ideas there are right now. How many movies have you seen that are the same idea? They're just repurposed over and over. Okay, Disney. Okay, so you just have to know that no one is going to do your idea like you can. No one can put a spin on it or have your own personal take like you. So definitely just go in there with the confidence knowing that this is your story and you are the only one who can tell it. Um, again, and the idea stage is kind of difficult, but at least you can take those small precautions to kind of help you protect yourself. So what you can do is you can actually protect your body of work. So let's say you've written the script, you've written your screenplay, you've written a treatment or an outline, um, or, or anything that's actually, you know, documented on paper, essentially. You can register your script immediately with the WGA, that's the Writers Guild of America. And the Writers Guild of America only charges $20. And once you've registered your script, you know that from there on out, you have a documented piece of paper of ownership. So once this happens, anytime you're talking to somebody about developing this idea, if someone was to magically steal your idea or take your idea, you now have written documentation of when you actually wrote this idea down. So the cost for the WGA is only $20. It lasts for at least five years and it's instant. So as soon as you register it, you have a trail of your registered work and you get a WGA number saying you registered this work with the WGA. And so it's officially copyrighted. And then the third way of protecting your work is to copyright it. So this can be done with the US Copyright Office. So with the US Copyright Office, you submit it online and they also have different types of work that you can register for, with the cost being anywhere between $35 and $55. Um, so, and that depends on the material. So the difference between the WGA and the Copyright Office is the time. So WGA is instant, whereas the Copyright Office, it takes about four to six months before you get an official copyright. But the main benefit of a copyright is the protections that you actually get if you have to take somebody to court. So a copyright allows for additional protections in court and a script must be registered with the copyright office in order to present it and stop any type of distribution that could happen as a result of your work being stolen. 
Also, any lawyer's fee are covered under a copyright. Whereas with the WGA, they can send an employee from the WGA office to court on your behalf, just to say when the script was registered, but that's about it. I actually put a graphic up that I found of the differences between the WGA and the copyright office, because I feel like it's good to see it on screen. Um, but this was really helpful for me when I was first deciding where I should even register my script. So the last tip that I'm going to give you is if you're working with personal clients or you're working one on one with somebody who's helping you to develop your script, either sign a non disclosure agreement or send a non disclosure agreement an NDA, which will give you a little bit of a peace of mind that the idea that you're discussing will be just it will stay between both of you. But the biggest tip I can give you is to go into it not thinking that somebody is going to steal your idea. Um, it is your work, it is your creation, and you got this. Thank you guys for watching, and sorry I've been on hiatus for a little bit, but you know, family comes first. Um, but if you are going from home to Hollywood, just remember that you guys got this. Bye!